Hello, my name is João Gonzalez and I'm the director of the short animated film Ice Merchants. It's a story about a father and son who, every day, jump with a parachute from their vertiginous gold house attached to a tall cliff to go to the village on the ground, far away, where they sell the ice they produce daily. It's a family drama set in an impossible reality that covers the topic of loss and family connection. It explores metaphorically my way of seeing daily rituals and routines as a foundation of meaningful human relationships. Something that has always fascinated me about animation cinema is the freedom it offers us to create something from scratch. Surrealistic and bizarre scenarios and realities that can be used as a metaphorical tool to talk about something that is common to us in our more real reality. Like my two other films, Ice Merchants was born out of an image that came to my mind and stuck with me. Most of those images of scenarios, in this case the tiny house attached to a cliff, appear while I'm dreaming or about to fall asleep, although sometimes they also come to mind during the day. I then spend a good amount of time exploring that reality through drawings and writing until I feel like I found something that resonates with me. In this initial phase, I have the habit of modeling the film's movie set in 3D so that I can better understand space where the film is going to take place. I do this even though I end up not using any of the 3D modeling or animation for the final piece. It's an improvised way of doing location scouting since the film's location doesn't actually exist in real life. At the same time, I start composing the film's soundtrack. This is a way of helping me setting or discovering the film's tone. While I'm at this initial phase, the sonority of the soundtrack will influence the visuals, and then the visuals will influence the music. And it is during this back and forth of both disciplines that the narrative starts to naturally build up, that is highly influenced by the created scenario's characteristics, the scenario of it, and, of course, by topics that are personal and dear to me. I never know exactly what the film is going to be about when I start pre-production. I know where it's going to take place, and I know how it will feel and what emotions I want to transmit. But the narrative and the particularities of the story itself are something that I keep discovering along the way.